Welcome to Bloom at the Yoga Garden and thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. So this is going to be quite a nice energising practice with a wee bit of flow. So get yourself comfortable and lie back and down on your mat. So check that you're taking the crown of your head up towards the top end of your mat. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Imagine you're trying to roll your shoulder blades in together so that you're resting on the flat part of your shoulder blades. And that will allow your arms to rotate more easily and the backs of your hands to rest on the floor. So arms slightly away from your body. And then take the heel of the right foot to the right edge of the mat, the heel of the left foot to the left edge of the mat. And just allow your toes to fall away. Get yourself comfortable and just notice how you're feeling. Now that you've laid down in your mat, do you notice any little bits that are maybe a little bit achy, a little bit tight? And just take note, don't try to do anything about it at the minute, but just notice how you feel, how those areas feel and remember to be kind to them later on when we're practicing. So just take a few rounds of your breath, giving yourself time to arrive on your mat, to be here now. We spent so much time rushing about doing things, this is your opportunity, this is your time to allow yourself to just be, to be a human being. Our lives are so busy, we spend so much time chasing our tail, sometimes quite literally. So this is your time. You have set aside this time for your yoga practice and thank you for doing so. But this is your time. Don't let anything else impinge on it. Set aside those to-do lists. You don't need to think about those for the next hour or so. Your time to just be. And I remind you about my favourite Thich Nhat Han expression or mantra. Breathing in, I calm the body and mind. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in the present moment, I know this is a wonderful moment. <coughs> Excuse me. So just allowing yourself to begin to let go and release onto your mat. So it is important that we take time for ourselves. So you're already doing the right thing. You're taking time to look after your physical, mental and emotional well-being. And it is important that we are proactive in looking after ourselves. We shouldn't always be feeling we need to get someone else to fix us. We have the capability within ourselves to fix ourselves in so many ways. We don't always need to take a pill or rub a cream in. We have the power within to help heal ourselves. Our bodies are wonderful things. Even just this ability we have to breathe. And of course our breath is the most important thing in our bodies. And yet it's probably 
one of the most neglected things. Unless you're a regular yoga practitioner, your breath is so neglected. So I really want you to be aware of your breath during today's practice. So we're just going to do uh, a little breath. It's not a difficult breath. It's a nice, easy, calming breath. But again, it helps to encourage us to think about our breath and to breathe the right way. So we'll just do the full yogic breath. So for this, we inhale into the belly. So we'll do a couple of belly breaths, then we'll move to the mid chest and then the upper chest. So with this first couple of breaths, bring your hands, if you want to, onto your tummy. And just feel as you inhale that you're breathing into your tummy. And then as you exhale, everything softens and releases. So feel your belly as a three-dimensional thing. So feel your breathing to all parts. Inhale, the front, the sides, the back. And exhale, soften and release. And then maybe move your hands up to your rib cage. So maybe middle fingers touching. And then as you inhale, feel your ribs expanding out to the sides, the front and the back. And as you exhale, everything softens and releases. Inhale, ribs expand and move apart. Exhale, soften and release. And then move your hands up to the collarbones. So there's very little movement here and it's quite a good idea to think of the breath going into your armpits here. So you may notice a little bit of movement, you may not. So inhale, try and isolate it up into this top part of your lungs, but don't worry if you can't, everything else will move a bit as well. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then gently release your hands. Well, you can move your hands if you like, but now we're going to do the full yogic breath. So we're going to inhale into the belly, move it up to the mid chest and then into the upper chest. And then as we exhale, everything will reverse. So we'll, it'll come out from the belly, mid chest, and finally the upper chest. So as you exhale, your belly will contract back towards your spine, your ribs come together, and your collarbones come together. Theoretically, anyway. Don't worry if you don't get it or if you feel you're not getting it. The important thing is that you're aware of your breath, conscious, consciously breathing, and, and try, doing your best to expand your lungs fully. So we'll just take a normal breath and then on your next inhale, in, in, inhale into the belly, one, two, mid chest, three, four, upper chest, five, six, and then exhale, belly, one, two, mid chest, three, four, upper chest, five, six. So just return to your natural breath in between. And of course, take a breath at any time you need to. You do not have to stick to what I'm saying. If you need a breath or you need to let go of your breath, please do so. Don't be lying here suffering. <clears throat> so we'll all take a normal breath again. Just one of your nice normal breaths. Exhale completely. And then we'll begin. So we'll do three rounds. Inhale, belly, one, two, mid chest, three, four, upper chest, five, six. Exhale, belly, one, two, mid chest, three, four, upper chest, five, six. Belly, one, two, mid chest, three, four, Upper chest, five, six. Exhale, belly, two, one, two. Mid chest, three, four. Upper chest, five, six. Inhale, belly, one, two. Mid chest, three, 
four, upper chest, five, six, exhale, belly, one, two, mid chest, three, four, upper chest, five, six. And just return to your natural breath. And notice how you're feeling. So I really want you to be aware of your breathing throughout today's practice. Of course, I always want you to be aware of your breathing, but the, you know the expression that yoga without the breath isn't yoga, it's just exercise. So with that in mind, have a stretch in whatever way you feel you need to be wriggle about. Maybe bring your arms up overhead Spread your fingers, spread your toes, have a yawn. <sighs> and then gently bring your arms back down by your sides. So we're going to bring our knees in towards our chest. A couple of wee rocks from side to side. Maybe allow your head to go in the opposite direction. So, of course, only do this if it feels right for you. If you have any neck issues, you're not going to roll your head about. So whatever little aches and pains you may be aware of, be kind to them and don't do anything that you know doesn't suit you. So now we're going to start a few little, we'll do three tiny circles to the right and then three tiny circles to the left. And then three slightly bigger circles to the right and three bigger circles to the left. And you'll notice Maybe different little bits say, like, oh, that feels a wee bit. And if you do find a little bit, because I have a wee bit there, so just give it a wee bit of a gentle massage. And then stretch your arms out as far as you can. Three big circles to the right. So you're still holding on to your knees. And then three big circles round to the left. And then squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Big inhale and exhale. Maybe bring your knee, your knees to your nose, your nose to your knees, shoulders and head off the floor. And so please don't do anything at all that you know doesn't suit you. Take a rest, use a prop, leave it out. You do whatever is right for you. So we're going to bring our hands in behind our thighs and gently Begin to straighten your legs up towards the ceiling. Tuck your shoulders in under, roll, have the backs of your hands on the floor, so your shoulder rolling in. And then bend your knees down again. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, release. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, release. Inhale, straighten. And this time, if you have any back issues, hold on to the edges of your mat or bring your hands in underneath your bottom. We're just going to point your toes. Keep your shoulders relaxed if you can. Shoulders honestly don't help with this. And bring yourself down to the floor. And as soon as you get there, bring your legs straight back up again and bring them in towards your chest for a wee bit of TLC. So now we're going to straighten our legs out along the floor. Tuck your shoulders in, bring your arms down so that the palms of the hands are, are facing inwards. Baby fingers sort of in line with the tops of your thighs. Tuck your shoulders in and we're going to do a couple of baby boats. So if you haven't done this before, we're just going to lift our feet and our shoulders two or three inches off the floor. It's not a big move but you're going to feel it here in your tummy. You should not feel it in your back. And if you need to, again, please hold on to the edges of your mat. Big inhale. And easier to do it in an exhale. And gently release as you inhale down. Take another breath here. And then again, on an exhale, bring yourself up. Maybe take a breath here while you're up this time. Maybe not. Your choice. And release. Take another breath here. And then again on an exhale. 
Bring yourself up. Maybe you'll come up a little higher this time. Try not to bring your shoulders up around your ears. Try and keep shoulders relaxed. Feel it in your tummy. One more big inhale. Maybe come up a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe not. And then gently bring yourself down. Bring your knees in towards your chest. A little rock from side to side. And then we're just going to do a couple of rock and rolls. Whoops. And really feel you're getting the full length of your spine. Just whatever feels right for you. And then we're going to swing our legs to one side. No, we're not. We're going to come into easy cross leg. So use bring use a block or a brick to sit on if you want to in fact i always like to sit on a block or just anything at all just to give you that little bit of a a pelvic tilt or sit on the edge of a block even so shift the flesh off your sit bones and feel that you're really rooting down into your sit bones take a big inhale and exhale so bring your hands onto your knees and we're just going to draw a few circles with our nose. So nice and slowly and gently. And you'll maybe feel we're not swinging our head about. We're literally just a nice rotation. We're not flinging our head right up towards the ceiling or anything. And then change direction. And you'll maybe hear all sorts of creaks and cracks. I certainly do. It's like um, Yellow Man or something, you know, that you get at the Isle Lammas Fair. <laughs> well, if you're not from Northern Ireland, that means nothing to you. Uh, it's like the honeycomb and chocolate and crunchy. And then bring yourself back to centre. So now we're going to take our right ear down towards the right shoulder. So don't let the right shoulder lift up. So it's Liz Leary ear to shoulder. Inhale back to centre. And then exhale left knee ooh, to left shoulder. And again, this is a good stretch. Back to centre. I'm going to do one more to each side. Right ear to right shoulder. And if you want to this time, you can bring the left right hand onto the towards the right ear, left ear. Oh, I can't get my rights and left, sorry. And just allow the weight of your hand. You're not pulling your head down, you're just letting the weight of your hand draw it down a little bit. Then gently release your hand and bring your head back up again. Other side. Left ear to left shoulder. Maybe you're feeling that enough stretch. If you are, you're not going to bring your hand onto your head or anything but maybe you'll feel a little bit extra stretch if you do so and if you've taken hold release your hand and bring yourself back so now we're going to take our right hand out towards the right press strongly into the right hand bring your left hand up and over and begin to hinge towards the right so don't let your left knee lift up. Don't let your left let your left sit bone lift off the floor. Reaching into the left fingertips, big inhale. Exhale back to center. Swap sides. Left hand down, right hand up. Reach into the right fingertips. Keep reaching, keep reaching. And exhale back to the center. Or inhale back to the center. Inhale. Reaching up. Oh, exhale back to centre. Was right the last time. Plant your left hand. Inhale, reach up. Exhale back. So now we're going to bring your left hand onto your right knee. Right hand in, nice and close. Press into the right hand. Use it to give you a bit of length because the more length you have, the more room there is to turn. So we're not turning too far because we're still warming up. Just a little gentle turn towards the right. So feel you're turning from the belly, mid chest, upper chest. So 
Don't be going too far, too hard. And maybe you'll turn your head and look over your right shoulder, but not if you've neck issues. And then gently back to centre. Swap sides, right hand to left knee, left hand in close, press into your left hand, lift up. And exhale, turn it. Oh, there's the most gorgeous wee baby bird here pecking about just outside my window. Oh, my soul. And again, sorry, feel that you're twisting, turning gently. One more big inhale here. And gently bring yourself back to centre. Apologies, you probably think I've been here for ages. She was talking about her bird. And then from here, we're just going to roll forward and meet me in tabletop. So knees are below your hips, wrists below your shoulders, and you're actively pressing the floor away. Pressing into the pads of all the fingers, particularly the base of the index finger and thumb, and feel really strong and secure. So from here, we're just going to do a couple of cat cows, and then we're going to add a little bit of movement and really let it all go. So we're going to take a big inhale, and as we do so, we're going to drop our belly to the floor, bottom up towards the ceiling, press the floor away, heart centre coming through, and then exhale, tuck your tail around your shoulders, chin to chest. Inhale, belly to the floor, bottom up towards the ceiling, press the floor away, heart centre coming through. Exhale, press the floor away. Oh, it feels so good. And then bring yourself back to your tabletop position. So we're just going to add a little movement to that. So I really want you just to move in whatever way, thinking about cats and cows, and move in whatever way your body is telling you you need to. So I will show you, I mean, you can copy me if you want to, but please do what feels right for you. So I'm going to inhale and I'm going over to the side a little bit into my kind of cat shape and then I'm exhale and I'm pressing the floor away. So just do it whatever way feels right for you. I know what I, my body is feeling it needs to at the minute. So feel free to move and wriggle in whatever way suits you. So it's almost like I'm almost doing like circles and cat cow and it does feel wonderful. So just whatever feels right for you. And then come back and meet me in your neutral tabletop. And then from here, we're going to tuck our toes under and bring yourself up into downward facing dog. So keep your knees bent really deeply for this first dog. And then begin to straighten one leg at a time. So shoulders are rolling away from each other. Big arm bones rotating out. So the inner eye of the elbows almost begins to face forward. Pressing into the base of the index finger and thumb. Lift your sit bones up. And then come into your static dog very, very briefly. Lift your kneecaps, taking your heels back and down. Don't worry about getting your heels to the floor. Don't worry about straightening your legs for that matter. Lifting, pressing the floor away. Lifting sit bones up. Try not to let your weight go forward. Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And then we're just going to take a little dander to the front of the mat. So knees bent as deeply as you need to to do this. So come forward whatever way you like, whatever way suits you. And meet me in Uttanasana 1 or Uttanasana. Knees bent deeply so that you can make contact with the floor. Maybe bring your hands to the backs of your heels. Use that little shelf on your thighs to rest your chest on. Shoulders rolling forward at the nose. 
and breathe. Maybe we rock. Just look down at your feet. Are both feet in line with each other? Are they parallel to each other? Are they parallel to the edges of the mat? And if not, see if you can correct them. And then feel all four corners of your feet really strongly. Bend your knees as deeply as you need to. And really, really slowly begin to unroll. And bring yourself up to stand. Bring your hands together at your heart centre. And just breathe and feel how good it is to be able to stand here and just breathe. Nothing else to do but breathe and be. And now we're going to get you energised, ready for this next bit of our practice. So we're just going to take our fingers and we're just going to tap across the top of our hair, just about your collarbones. I have to be careful. I hope this isn't thumping terribly in the mic. I'm not sure what it's doing. I forgot to consult my technician. A little tap, but it feels quite good. Really energising. It's really good. And then bring your hands to the sides of the body and tap here about your spleen and your kidneys. Give them a good tap. And then we're going to do a crosswalk. So opposite hand and opposite leg. And smile. You might feel a bit silly, marching soldiers. The sorts of things we used to do with children when I, we did pee. Stand still marching. <laughs> See if you can even yourself off. Come back to standing. And then get your Tadasana feet to a really strong base. Inhale, swing your arms up, clasp your hands, all except the index fingers. Reach into your index fingers, draw your shoulders down. Big inhale and exhale, hinge over to the right. Take a breath here, come up maybe a tiny little bit and maybe you'll hinge a little further this time. Inhale back to centre, change the cross of your hands. You're still going to have your index fingers pointing up. Reach up and exhale, hinge to the left. Inhale, come up a little bit. Exhale, hinge a little further. Inhale back to centre and then from here we're just going to roll forward and down into Uttanasana. So maybe your legs will be a little bit straighter this time. It doesn't really matter. Have them bent as deeply as you need to to be comfortable. And then from here we're going to inhale into our flat back. So Hands to your shins or your thighs, soft bend in your knees. We're not locking out our legs or anything. Heart centre coming forward, navel back towards your spine, shoulders rolling away from your ears and a nice long spine, your neck and head just in a nice extension of your spine, no crunching. Take another breath here and exhale, fold a little deeper. Press strongly into all four corners of your feet and again, unwind, bring yourself up nice and slowly, draw down lots of energy from the air, bring it down towards the crown of your head, to your heart centre and then we're just going to keep going the whole way down, bend your knees deeply again if you need to, into Uttanasana. Maybe hands behind your shins, hold on to your elbows. Inhale here, come into your flat back. So the hands to shins, thighs, maybe to the floor, depends on your flexibility. Don't lock your knees though. 
soft bend, or not soft bend, but a softness in your knees. Wherever feels right for you. And breathe. Bring your heart center through. One more big inhale here. And exhale. Fold forward. And this time, bend your knees deeply. Make really good contact with the floor. Step back with your right foot. Step back with your left foot into plank. So move about in your plank and get comfortable. Of course, knees to the floor if you need to. But maybe try one breath in planks. So shoulders are over your wrists. You're pressing into the heels. You're lifting all of the front body up into the back body. So maybe have a little rock about. See how it feels. We're not going to be here too long. Just come into your static plank if you want to. Maybe you lift one leg up. Maybe you lift the other leg up. You don't need to do this bit at all. Breathe, smile, tell yourself, I can do this, I am strong. One more big inhale and exhale. Bring yourself back into down dog. So give your dog a wee walk if you need to. And then come into your static dog, pressing the floor away. Lifting your sit bones up, navel back towards your spine. And breathe. Let your head go. Think of all that energy going into the crown of your head, all that lovely blood and oxygen. One more breath here. And then take a big inhale. Come up onto your tippy toes. Roll forward and bring yourself into up dog. So you can come onto the tops of your feet if you want to, or just stay on the toes. So knees to the floor again, if necessary. You know how you feel. Heart center coming through. One more breath here. Exhale, back into down dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, one more up dog. Bring yourself through. Breathe, smile. Tell yourself, I'm strong, I can do this. And then exhale, back into Down Dog. So this is your wee breather here in Down Dog. So if you want to, of course, take your knees out for the width of your mat, big toes to touch. And take your breather in extended child's pose. Otherwise, stay up in Down Dog. And walk your dog, maybe, or just... Stay in your static dog, whatever feels right for you. So if you're taking your breather now in child's pose, maybe you'd like to join us back in down dog. And then from here, we're going to look forward, step through with the right foot and leg and bring the left knee to the floor if you need to. But if you can, keep staying the ball of the back foot, get your balance and bring yourself up into your high lunge. Reaching up into your fingertips, exhale, sitting a little bit lower. So you're either here or here, your choice. Shoulders away from your ears. Look up between your hands. Big inhale, exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. And this time as you inhale, sweep your arms back, lean over the front knee. So either here or here. Breathe. Smile. In fact, if you've got your knee in the floor, see if you can come up briefly onto the ball of your front, the ball of the back foot. Press strongly into the ball of the back foot and plant the back heel in the floor. Press into both feet and bring yourself up into Virabhadrasana one. So you're pressing into the front foot. Pressing into the heel of the back foot. Back foot at an angle of about 45 degrees. 
reaching up and sitting down. Take a big inhale. Maybe you'll begin to take your arms back, take your hands back into a tiny bit of a back bend. Should be no pinching in your back or no nipping. If there is, come straight back up, take a big inhale. Get more length. You need length before you go into a back bend. Space between the vertebra. One more breath here. And exhale, drop your hands down. Bring your hands to your heart center. Press into the front foot. Come off the back foot. And maybe you'll bring the baby toe side of the left foot onto the right thigh. And maybe sit a little bit lower. Breathe and smile. One more breath here. And then gently release that foot. Step back again into your high lunge. Frame the front foot with your hands and step back into downward facing dog. Well done. And take a wee breather here, you deserve it. And again, take your breather in child's pose if you want to. So of course we have the other side to do now. So if you're taking your breather in child's pose, join us again in down dog. And then we're going to look forward, lift the left foot and leg and step it through and either plant the right knee to the floor <coughs> excuse me, or come on to the, stay on the ball of the back foot. Get your balance, press into either the front foot and the ball of the back foot or into the top of, into the knee, bring yourself up, reach up and sit a little bit lower. Inhale up, exhale, sit a little bit lower. Take a big inhale and exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale up, don't lose your lunge. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale up, exhale, hands to your heart center. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. I think we did an extra one there. And this time, inhale, lean forward. Press into the front foot. You're flying, feel as if you're flying. And breathe and smile and know how good it is to be able to do this. And then lean into the front foot, plant the heel of the back foot, press strongly into both feet, bring yourself up, and you're in Virabhadrasana 1. Lunge into the front foot. You might need to wriggle your foot forward a little bit. So the back foot is at an angle of about 45 degrees, reaching up into the fingertips, pressing into the back or the heel of the back foot, maybe two side of the back foot, all of the front foot. Inhale, lift up, maybe begin to take your arms back, take your hands back, reaching up, tiny back bend. Don't lose your lunge. One more breath here. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Press into the front foot, begin to come off your back foot. You know what's coming. See if you can bring the baby toe side of the side of the back, the right foot onto the left thigh and lower yourself down. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here. And then gently release your right leg. Step it back again into your high lunge. Frame the front foot with your hands. Press into the toes of the back foot and step back into downward facing dog. So 
you will need to adjust your feet, of course. And then walk your dog briefly. And come into your static dog for your breather or again, knees to the floor if you need to. Pressing the floor away, lifting your sit bones up. One more big inhale here. And exhale, everyone, knees to the floor. Or if you're in child's pose, bring yourself up into your tabletop position. Sweep your legs to one side. And bring your legs out in front. So we're just going to have our knees and legs about hip width apart. So we want a nice sort of a straight line going down from the knees to the ankles. So you don't want your feet out or in like that. So like a nice straight line between your feet, your knees, your hips. A little bit of a ski slope. Maybe lift the flesh off your sit bones. Big inhale. And exhale. Just drip yourself over your thighs. So have your knees bend as deeply as you need to so that you can make contact with your thighs, with your chest. So your hands will come to wherever. It doesn't really matter where your hands come to. Big inhale and exhale. Let your head go. Inhale and exhale. And just notice how this feels. So maybe you're feeling enough of a stretch here along your back body. And if you are, you would just stay here. But maybe you'll feel that you could maybe begin to straighten your legs a little bit and maybe come onto your heels. And again, we want to keep that nice contact of the chest with the thighs if possible. So that you're keeping a fairly flat back back body but of course as you put up your head your shoulder it will round and then maybe straighten a little bit more you don't ever have to have your legs straight in this posture just go to wherever feels right for you so you can straighten your legs if you want to maybe use the flexibility but i'm not going to straighten my legs today because it just doesn't feel right for me and I'm trying to be mindful. We are trying to think about how we feel. So two more breaths here. And then nice and slowly begin to walk your hands back up your legs. Plant your feet on the floor and then this time we're going to come back off our sit bones a little bit so we're going to do baby boot so we're going to bring our knees in quite close to our chest so we want to rock back off that off the sit bones to get that little bit where you feel really secure if you go too far back you're just going to whoops tip on over and if you're too far forward balance is impossible so there is a little sweet spot where you know you feel quite secure and you feel you won't fall over. So draw your knees in. And my feet have lifted off the floor without me actually thinking about it. So apologies if yours are still on the floor. Mine just have lifted up because I've squeezed my thighs in. So you want your heart and your or your chest and your thighs as close together as we can, just the way we had in, in Pashamotanasana. And then maybe point one toe and maybe point the other toe. Maybe point both toes. Don't do it too violently because you still will wobble. Maybe you'll leave go. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll bring your hands to the floor. Maybe bring your hands in behind. You do not have to. You choose whatever is right for you. Reach up, hands to the side, whatever. Whatever feels good, whatever feels okay for you. 
Feel it in your tummy. Use your core to bring your chest forward. Maybe you'll begin to straighten your legs. Maybe you won't. Keep your legs here. Keep toes on the floor. Whatever. Maybe you'll come back into your baby boat and back into your half boat. Baby boat. Half boat. Baby boat. Half boat. Squeeze your legs in. Drop your feet to the floor. And think, ah, oh, let your head go. So from here, we're just going to unroll down onto the floor. Whatever way feels right for you. Bring your feet in. Maybe not too close to your bottom. Take your arms out and crucifix. So knees and feet are together, but they will come apart. We're just going to do a nice gentle twist. Drop knees down to the right hand. Head to the left if you have no neck issues. Reaching into the fingertips of the left hand. See how that feels. <clears throat> Maybe I've left myself no room here. Maybe you'll straighten that top leg out. So I have no room to straighten my leg out. You don't have to do that bit. One more breath here. Feel a lovely twist all down the left side of the body. Feel the internal organs getting a little massage. One more breath here and gently bring your knees back to centre. And we'll come to the other side. So again, knees and inside edge of the feet together to begin with anyway. See if you keep together as much as you can. Relax your right shoulder. Head looking over the right shoulder if possible. Inhale and exhale. And again, if you want to, straighten the top leg out along the floor. One more breath here. If you've straightened your top leg, bring it in again and gently. Bring yourself back to centre and you're ready for your relaxation. So bring yourself into Shavasana. Heel of the right foot at the right edge of the mat. Heel of the left foot at the left edge of the mat. Or if you prefer, keep your knees bent. Take your feet out the full width of your mat and allow your knees to knock in towards each other. Your choice. The important thing is that you feel really comfortable. So maybe roll your head gently from side to side and then allow it to come to rest in the middle. Feel you have a nice long back neck, shoulders rolling away from each other and from your ears. The arms are rotated, the backs of the hands on the floor. And if you want to, you can gently but firmly press the index finger and thumb together in a Hasta Mudra. Heel of the right foot at the right edge of the mat, heel of the left foot at the left edge of the mat, and allow the toes just to fall away from each other. So this is one of the most difficult poses to get right. So it's much easier to settle the physical body than it is the mental mind. So it's much more difficult to calm our mind and that's what we're going to try and do now for the next few minutes. To allow the mind to rest. So 
just notice your breath. Take a nice, long, slow, deep inhale. Open your mouth wide and sigh it out. One more. Nice, long, slow, deep inhale. Feel you're filling your body up with all that lovely prana. Brief pause at the top. Open your mouth wide and just sigh it all out. And then just return to your natural breath and do a quick scan of your body and see if you can remember any of those little tight bits that you might have noticed at the beginning. Notice how they're feeling now. And then we'll just do a quick body scan. We'll start with the toes. So all the toes soft and relaxed, the tops of the feet, the soles of the feet the ankles, the heels, the shins, the calves, the knees, the backs of the knees, the fronts of the thighs, the backs of the thighs, the buttocks, the points of the hips, all the internal organs softening, releasing, the back ribs and spine, the front ribs, the collarbones, the tops of the shoulders, the backs of the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, the inner eye of the elbows, the lower arms, the wrists, the backs of the hands, the palms of the hands, all of the fingers just curling gently in towards each other, completely relaxed. Now I come to the sides of the neck, the chin, the jaw, the hinge of the jaw, the teeth lightly parted, the tongue resting on the floor of the mouth cheekbones, the eyes sinking down into deep, dark, comforting pools, the eyebrow centre, the third eye, smooth, unfurled, the skull, the scalp, the whole length of your body, completely releasing relaxing onto your mat, supported by your mat. You know you can allow everything to let go. You're here on this safe space. It's almost as if your mat is beginning to move up around you, creating a lovely, warm, comforting cocoon for you to rest in every single part of your body, every muscle, every joint is completely supported by this lovely cocoon that you are resting in at the minute. Just allow yourself to be here now. Breathing in, I calm the body and mind. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in the present moment. I know this is the only moment. Inhale. And exhale. Calm. And slow soft, release, letting go. So if any thoughts come into your mind when I stop speaking, Just bring yourself back to your breath.
So this is actually called a Sanskrit salutation to the dawn. But I just felt it doesn't have to be to the dawn. We could use this at any time. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the verities and realities of our existence. The bliss of growth, the splendour of beauty, for yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today well spent makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well therefore to this day, <coughs> excuse me, such is the salutation to the dawn. So your relaxation is almost complete. Begin to breathe more deeply. Wriggle your fingers, wriggle your toes. Gently begin to wake your body up. And then when you're ready, bring your hands together at your heart center, rub them nice and briskly together until you've got a nice bit of heat going there. And then when your hands are nice and warm, bring your hands to your eyebrow centre and begin to tap nice and gently at your eyebrow centre, across the third eye, the forehead down the sides of your eyes. Pause here, give yourself a little tap, a little massage. Across the cheekbones, down the sides of your nose, around your lips and your mouth. And then bring your hands together. And just say a moment of thanks for this day. Then gently release your hands, bring your right knee into your chest, your left knee into your chest and begin to rock gently from side to side. And when you're ready, take the rock right over onto the right side of your body, press into your top hand and bring yourself up and meet me in any comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together in Anjali Mudra, pressing your hands firmly together. Take a big inhale and exhale by your head down towards your heart. So thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. I really appreciate your company and for your loyalty in following me in these recordings. Thank you so much. May the luminous light of your being shine like a thousand suns. Namaste.